So you want to learn how to carry on Genji. Well, you've come to the right place. For those of you that are returning to this channel, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. And for those of you that are new to this channel, first of all, it's nice to meet you. My name is Abby. I will be your sensei. So welcome to my dojo. This is where I'll be teaching you on how to carry with Genji in the current season of Overwatch 2 and Season 3. Genji is in a little bit of a rough spot, but you can still make him work. However, as always, you should know when to swap off. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the video and get started. The most important thing that I want to talk about firstly is that what defines a good Genji player and what makes a good Genji player different from your average Genji player has nothing to do with Dragonblade. I'm going to be very real and blunt about this. Getting good at the Dragonblade part of Genji, how to utilize a Mercy Boosted Blade or a Nano Boosted Blade is actually the easy part because it's a pretty simple combo and with enough muscle memory training over time, you can become good at just, you know, slash, dash, dash, slash from one opponent to the next. The important thing, the thing that makes one Genji better than the next one, or what defines a really good Genji player from a very average Genji player who's only good with his blade, is actually a Genji that is good at dueling. Just in case you're new to Overwatch and you don't know what dueling means, dueling basically means getting locked into a 1v1 with the opponent. Now, Genji is a character that excels at this because he tends to flank into the back line and wants to duel the supports hopefully get rid of them first and then move on to the next target, whichever target that that Genji player deems fit, usually the second support or maybe a low uh, DPS on the enemy side. So now the question becomes, well, Abby, how do I get better at winning my duels with Genji? How do I win these 1v1s? How do I become more consistent with my shuriken combos? My faithful viewer, it is not that difficult. It just requires a lot of time and practice. Keep doing it and every day, I promise you will get better. I have two solutions for that. The first one is utilizing this workshop code over here. It takes you into a workshop arena where you can practice against the different character models in Overwatch 2. You can utilize any character you want, but of course, in this case, we are trying to get better at carrying with Genji. We're going to select Genji and we're going to start practicing our shuriken combos. It also shows you the damage numbers that you're doing. So you can have a good idea of, you know, the comfort range of when you're dueling a Cassidy, when you're dueling a Doomfist, when you're fighting Tracer. You know, it gives you a good idea of how it feels when you go up against these characters. And then naturally, these skills that you pick up, the feelings that you pick up of, okay, I feel comfortable doing it like this, it's going to translate over into your gameplay in quick play or competitive, right? Another way to test your skill on how consistent you've become, if you can take over a lobby, are you good with the shuriken combos and all these type of things, right? Is this, The second solution is practicing Genji in the deathmatch game mode not the one in Q because that one doesn't really have a goal. I want you to play the arcade deathmatch game mode because in that game mode, I want you to try and come at least third place. Obviously, aim for second or first place because if you are able to do that, it shows that you now have a good understanding of the shuriken combos. You are able to take over that lobby with your dragon blades and you can hold your own, right? It Basically, it teaches you to hold your own as a player. It's a ruthless game mode. Everybody's you know, it's a free-for-all. Everybody's out for each other's next, right? So if you can take over those deathmatch lobbies, I promise you, you'll be able to take over the quick play and competitive games wherever you're trying your best to get better at Genji and then attain your next rank. So these are the two ways that you can improve on Genji. Again, for a quick summary, utilize the workshop code and practice against the different character models. And secondly, utilize the deathmatch game mode to really test yourself against players of a similar or varying skill degree. Now, with that being said, I'm going to let the rest of the deathmatch game mode play out for you guys on the screen right now from start to finish. You can watch how I took over this lobby and basically won the game. And in the next video, we're going to focus on how to carry team fights with Genji. So there has to be two parts. This part is going to try and focus on teaching you how to get better with your dueling skills and things like that. Then in the team fight part or learning how to carry during team fights, we're going to look into how to read into team fights and understand as Genji what do we want to go for? What do we want to do and what we do not want to do? So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of the footage. It'll be commentary free. So let's lay back, relax and watch some Genji gameplay. Double. 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 Double.
Thank you. 